Hi there. Have you ever heard about sentence attacks? Sentence attacks can be a fun way to learn about the jobs that each word has in a sentence. Now, you may have heard about a different way to learn about the jobs of different words in a sentence. Have you ever seen one of these before? This is what's called a sentence diagram. And while it can do a really good job of teaching you some things about the way a sentence works, as you can see, it can get really confusing and complicated. So let's take a look at how to use sentence attacks a simpler way. Welcome to the introduction to sentence attacks. Sentence attacks help us understand the job that each word has in a sentence. We'll start by reviewing our common parts of speech. First is a noun. A noun is a person, place, thing, sometimes an idea. In this case, it's a hat. When you see a noun, in order to attack it, you'll draw a square around it. Next up is a verb. In this case, the word runs. Verb is an action. When you see the action in the sentence, you put a circle around it. We're also going to look at modifiers, words that describe nouns or verbs. On top, you see the word blue. That's an adjective. It's describing the word hat. And we'll draw an arrow from the word blue to the word hat, so we know that blue is modifying or describing the hat. On the bottom, you see the word quickly with an arrow drawn to the word runs. Quickly is an adverb describing the verb runs. With the adjective, you'll see that we draw the arrow on top, and with the adverb, we draw the arrow on the bottom so that you can tell the difference. Let's try some examples. First, this sentence, the girl runs quickly. I'm going to start with the noun. In this sentence, we have one noun, the word girl, and then I'm going to do the verb, circling the word runs. I like to start with the noun and verb because every sentence is going to have at least one noun and at least one verb. They form the heart of the sentence. You have a noun doing an action. In this case, the girl runs. Once we've identified our nouns and verbs, we'll look at our modifiers. The word the describes girl. Technically, it's an article, not an adjective, but it does almost the same job as an adjective, so we're going to treat it like one. This also goes for a, an. They're also articles. They act a lot like adjectives. On the bottom, the word quickly is an adverb describing runs, so I'll draw my arrow underneath to the word runs. Quickly ends in ly. Ly is often a clue that you're looking at an adverb. Now that we're finished, we see that every word in the sentence has a job. In your writing too, you should think about every word in your sentence having a job. That's why sentence attacks can help make your writing stronger, because it gets you to think that every word needs to serve a purpose. Let's try one more example. He eats stinky cheese. Start with the noun. He. And I see we have another noun here, cheese. Now some of you might be thinking, that's not a box around the word he, it's a hexagon. Well, that's true. The word he acts like a noun, but technically it's a pronoun. A word that takes the place of a noun. So we're going to do something that looks a little bit like you took the box and you smushed it a little bit to make the corners come out. That way we can tell the difference between a pronoun and a noun, but we can also tell that they're, they're pretty close and they're very similar. Next, I'm going to look at the action in the sentence, since he eats the cheese. Eats is our action word, the verb, and the cheese is stinky, so stinky describes the word cheese. Now you can see in this example, we have one noun that is doing an action, and we have another noun that's being acted upon. Sometimes you'll call that the subject an object. Now, as you know, sentences can get a lot more complicated than this, and in future lessons, we'll look at different parts of speech, different parts of the sentence. But for now, knowing how to attack a sentence with nouns, verbs, and modifiers will get you a long way to understanding the structure of a sentence. Good luck.